Yeah, folks, you're looking at it right here. This is that $100 uh, Elite Pro officially licensed Nintendo Switch controller. This is officially called the Fusion by Power A. Uh, and oh boy, I can't wait to open this bad boy. And uh, stay tuned because uh, we might actually be giving away this controller. Although. Let me just tell you, E3 is going to be involved with that. Also, uh, we'll be comparing the controller to the Xbox Series X controller, the PlayStation 5, uh, prior Power 8 controllers as well, the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, and we're going to be doing a top-down angle for most of the rest of this video uh, for the unboxing, they're looking at all the stuff, and then show me syncing it with the Nintendo Switch and all of that. So, hey, Nate, hit that intro. All right, so let's get this thing open. There's a couple stickers here on the side. Actually, let's first take a look at the box. So you can see here's the front. It says Fusion Pro Wireless Controller, uh, Fusion Matte Sandsfield Pro. So this is the black edition. I don't know if it comes with the white faceplate or not because uh, there's a white faceplate version as well. Um, it says also works with the Switch Lite. Uh, letting you know it's officially licensed right here, down here, Nintendo Seal of Quality. Uh, you'll see this. Um, you know, kind of nice on the thing. See in the back, all of the features. So anti-friction rings, magnetic impulse triggers. No idea what that even means. Soft touch finish, uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack. That's right, there's an audio jack on here. We'll talk about that in a moment. Mappable and removable pro backplate. Uh, so this lets you map four buttons back there. Uh, we got ultra tall th thumbsticks. There's two different thumbsticks, concave and convex. Uh, USB-C port for charging. Uh, AL, ALPS analog thumbsticks, uh, injected rubber grips. We got to check that out because I really don't like the grip on the normal uh, Pro Controller here. I really don't like the grip on that. Uh, so hopefully this is better. Um, so yeah, a bunch of stuff here in different languages. Bluetooth. Yeah, let's just open it. So we got three stickers. So let's start off peeling this first one. Here we go. All right, so uh, inside here there is something. I don't know what I don't know what this is. Um, let's take a look at this first. Oh, it looks like the paperwork. Yeah, so we got the user manual here. We might check out this user manual if we need it. Uh, I think I could probably figure most things out, but we'll we'll take a look at this in a little bit. Um, and then we have the actual Fusion controller here. Uh, this comes in a really nice case. Uh, again, this is a premium Nintendo Switch controller. This is not cheap, okay? More expensive than any other controller for Switch that isn't, like, custom-made. So let's open it up, and it's got some nice padding here. We do get the white faceplate. So we'll look at that white faceplate in a moment. Uh, but right now, here's the controller. We got some uh, extra padding here protecting these thumbsticks because there's extra thumbsticks in here. Um... So we'll take that out and we'll set aside these two thumbsticks here. We got our concave and convex. Uh, we have an extra long braided uh, USB-C cable. Uh, so that's that's pretty exciting. I, I like that. Um, this thing looks really long. So um, probably a 10-foot cable. Uh, we have our uh, open and close. This must go on the back of the controller. And then we have the controller itself here, which must have the pro stuff already installed. Good, we have some battery life. Oh, 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 I can already tell by touching it. I can already tell that I'm going to like this controller. Oh, my gosh. So right now, um, it's got a couple uh, convex. I think this is weird. I think they messed up. Um, I'm pretty sure they messed up in shipping. You see these? This is a concave, and this is a convex. Um I think these are both supposed to be convex because these are both convic concave. Uh, so I guess I can't change them both to that. But this, this has got some weight to it, man. And this rubber back. So here's a good look at the back. You got all four of the paddles here. Uh, you have um, some, some buttons back here as well. Uh, one of them probably a power button. We have a sync button right here, uh, just like on the normal Pro Controller. We have our triggers. How do those feel right off the bat? I mean, they feel... And grab the, I mean, they, they, they feel about the same, I would say. Uh, maybe a, a bit more clicky. Um, 
in comparison to the Pro Controller. But um, you got you got your but oh, those are some nice buttons. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's take a look at the side. Well, first let's look at the the white faceplate here. Let's get the white faceplate out. So you have an idea what that looks like. And we'll probably flip over to the white faceplate because I think it's a bit easier. So let's actually take a look before we compare it to other controllers. Let's actually take a look at how we change these faceplates out. Is it is it easy? Uh, there is a notch here, um, so I'm assuming we could just we can. You just pull up like that. So let me show you guys. There is a notch in here. You can just kind of stick your thumb in and pull. And the faceplate pops off. And then that's what it looks like with the faceplate popped off. Obviously, um, lots of magnets. Lots of magnets. Uh, and then we got our white faceplate here. I think it's going to look really good with the white. Let's pop this bad boy on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is a good looking controller now i'm not a fan of paddles some people do like the paddles in the back they are they are conveniently placed uh for people that people that like using back paddles like this to remap buttons but i'm not a fan so let's see how easy that comes off it looks like there's just a button right here that we can press and it pops right off and then that's where this comes in and we can uh slide this on so it has a normal standard controller feel even though this is one of the key features it is optional so we'll set that aside and yeah okay okay that's pretty cool so right here you'll see the 3.5 millimeter audio jack um this for right now can only be used wired but we'll explain uh why in a moment uh but that's still a pretty big deal because it does eliminate one wire that you would typically need to run to your switch so let me feel the sticks here I mean that that that's that's a good looking controller, and and if you compare it to other controllers, this is one of the original Power A wired controllers, officially licensed Donkey Kong version. Uh, you see, it requires a wire. There's no batteries, no nothing to charge, um, and you see that the sticks are much just just really big on these. Um, only one version. Everything's super clicky, but it feels really cheap. And even when these are plugged in, there, there's significant lag. Um, and, and it feels weird that a wired controller has lag, but that's the case. Let's move this down a bit, um, and then we'll bring in the newer Power A wireless controller. So this is a Zelda edition wireless Power A controller. Um, this has two uh, back remappable back buttons and a turbo button that we just don't really care that much about. Um, and this is much more like a standard Pro controller. Very nice feeling. This is one of my go-to controllers I use today. Uh, and then obviously we need to make some room here and bring in the Switch Pro controller. So this one's been modified with an LED kit, hence why you got the clear buttons and all that. But otherwise, this is just a standard Switch controller. And honestly, this one's heavier. So uh, definitely heavier side by side. You can kind of see. Um, this one's a slightly bigger, uh, but the, st the standard Pro Controller is nice. It's cool. This has all the same features minus NFC technology uh, with the additional option of obviously the paddles, the ability to swap out sticks. Uh, you can't swap out buttons on this one like you can on the Game Sir controller with them before. And then obviously you can bring in any compared to things like, you know, let's let's swap out the DK one here. You got the Xbox Series X controller, uh, which feels a lot like the Xbox 360 controller um, with the D-pad from like the Elite. And, yeah, I mean, this is a, just a nice feeling you know, control, nice texture. I like the rubberized texture in the back here, although that's obviously going to um, be up to the eye of the beholder whether, whether you like this this rubber grip or not. I prefer a rubber grip over just texture. Um, but, obviously, the Xbox Series X controller feels nice. has a nice feel to it. Um, and then we can come in here. We'll swap out the Zelda one. We'll bring in the DualSense controller from PlayStation 5. A fantastic feeling controller, although, again, doesn't have a rubberized back. So, like... Obviously, you know, this has completely different features with the triggers and, and locations and obviously the touchpad, different console. But, like, again, this is, I don't like this slippery back that a lot of controllers have. Uh, and this does not have that. So let's actually get this controller working with a Nintendo Switch and go from there. So now we're going to check out some Sega um, and, and try using the D-pad here. Because we haven't used the D-pad yet. Um, let's just go with the main mode here. Sure. Let's just see uh, how this is working for you guys. How it's working for me, I guess I should say. I mean, that's, that's a nice feeling, D-pad. All right, all right. That's one of the better D-pads I've used. 
Holy crud. That, okay. It's just got the right the right responsiveness. It, it, it's hard to roll and hit other things. All right, let's go, let's go test out a, a shooting game now. Let's try my hand at some Doom Eternal. We're not going to download the update. Uh, let's just let's just get uh, some shooty shooty action going on in Doom Eternal. Just try out the triggers a little bit, uh, see how they feel. Because right now I'm very confident this is a nice feeling controller. And again, I'm not testing out the paddles today. I'm not I'm not a paddle paddle gamer, but I mean these paddles feel nice. They're, they're definitely not cheap. They they are metal. These are metal paddles. So we got the the. R and L buttons are are, are are working just fine. Let's see if I even remember how to play Doom Eternal. It's been a while since I played it. If I remember right, it actually is a, is a very good port by Panic Button, so I think this is going to go over pretty well. We'll see. By the way, this is not an examination of my gamer skills. <laughs> not at all. I'm just very impressed. This is this is such a nice feeling controller. Hey, I remembered how to play for a second. And then I fell. Then I fell to my death. Well, there's me playing Doom. So, triggers feel fine. I wouldn't say, like, you know, you, they're, they're still digital triggers. They're not going to be analog. They're, th this isn't going to be that kind of a controller. Um, there's no advantage on Switch to having those at the moment because none of the games support it. Um, but, yeah, let's uh, let's go back out uh, and uh, just talk about my impressions on this and how you can win this Power A $100 Elite controller from Nintendo Switch. All right, so... Obviously, this isn't some comprehensive review of this controller. It's more like a feature on this controller. Uh, it is just one of the nicest feeling controllers yet. The Obviously, the question you got to have is, is it worth $100 uh, plus tax and shipping and all that? And that's obviously going to be up to the eye of the beholder. Obviously, if you're someone that really likes having back paddles, these are some of the best back paddles you can get on Nintendo Switch. Uh, and this is just... It's just a, a really great feeling controller. It it just feels higher quality than Nintendo's pro, uh, own own option. Feels higher quality than Power A's previous options. This feels like maybe what the Switch Pro controller should have been, but it's not. Um, I I really really like this controller a lot, uh, which pains me to say that this is actually part of the Nintendo Switch E3 giveaway. In fact, let me pop off that white faceplate again so you guys can see the black one on. Uh, we are giving this away during E3. This is one of the things to be given away during our $3,500 uh, plus giveaway with 300 plus winners during E3. We are live streaming on uh, the 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th for 12 straight hours. Pre-shows, post-shows, live reactions, all that jazz, competitions. You'll be able to win this controller, all the faceplates, the swappable sticks, um, you know, the, the, the paddles comes with this. Uh, you're going to get all of this. Uh, again, very expensive controller, but my word, if you don't want to wait and you want to buy one now, I'll put links down in the description. These things are sold out. These things are on back order. These things are hard to get. This is not an easy to obtain controller. In fact, when I showed this off in a YouTube short, people were like, Nate, how the hell did you get it? I just ordered it and it arrived. All right. Well, that's what I got for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.